Hello everybody. Well you've heard of Tailwheel Tuesday and Wingtip Wednesday. I think we're gonna call today Short Field Sunday. <laughs> So for today's mission, we're going to go out and do a little bit of short field practice. So a week or so ago, I posted a picture of a tailwheel Thursday where I went over and I uh, practiced a couple of takeoffs and landings at Willgrove Airport. And one of the uh, people that responded to the, to the uh, picture said that I need to go over to Goose Creek and practice over there next time. So that's what we're going to do today. We're actually going to go over and compare uh, landings at Willgrove and Goose Creek Airport and see how the two compare to each other. figure out where we're going today. Our first stop is going to be Goose Creek 28 Alpha. This is a 565 feet elevation, 1565 pattern altitude. Runway is 422, 2350 feet long by 35 feet wide. And Unicom is 123.0. And this is what it looks like when we're in downwind for runway four. Well, that wasn't too bad for a wheel landing. I was a little fast over the numbers, but uh, still down and slow with minimal braking by the halfway point. We'll go ahead and continue on down to the end, turn around, and make a pattern on 2-2. Two -two.
And that wasn't too bad of a three point landing. Down and slow, no braking necessary, and just let it roll out to the end so we can go ahead and take off opposite direction. And then head over to Willgrove. bad for a three-point landing here. Go ahead and roll down to the end and turn around. We'll take off opposite direction and try and land on runway 35.
And there's their wheel landing at Goose Creek. Until next time, thanks for being my co-pilot.